fun. Now till now you have seen the automation related projects on my channel which are mostly based on Adafruit MQTT Broker in which we can control home appliances globally from anywhere in this world via internet. Cool. But now let's take this to a step back and now in this video I will let you know how you can control home appliances and also monitor multiple census data locally without using internet by just using a Raspberry Pi board as a local MQTT server. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know how to make this. So let's get started. Let me give the overview of this project. So in this project, we will be using a Raspberry Pi board as a MQTT broker and we will be using a Node MCU board as a MQTT client on which we will be attaching some relays to control appliances and some sensors to monitor data. Now, if you don't know how MQTT works, then kindly watch out this video in which I have explained the concept and working of MQTT protocol. That's it. So let's start with the making. First of all, let's configure a Raspberry Pi board. I ordered my Raspberry Pi 3B kit from one website called UT Source. Now just search for this kit on their website and place the order. You will be receiving this kit straight at your doorstep. Link of buying this kit is available in the description of this video. So first of all, go to the website and download the latest version of the Raspbian Jesse OS. I already have the previous version of this OS, so I will cancel this download. Then you need to insert the SD card in your computer and open up this application called SD card formatter. Link for this application is in the description of this video. Open that and format your SD card. Then open up another application called Etcher. Link for this app is also attached in the description of this video. Here select the image you just downloaded. Then select the SD card port and click on this flash button. It will take some time flashing the image and validating it. After that, insert the card in your Raspberry Pi board and boot up your device. After booting up, first of all, connect your Raspberry Pi board with internet by entering the Wi-Fi credentials of available Wi-Fi network. Then open up the terminal and enter these all commands one by one. All these commands are mentioned in the article on my website whose link is also attached in the description of this video. After successfully following all these steps, you are done with installing the Mosquito MQTT broker on your Raspberry Pi board. Okay, great. We successfully installed the broker on our Pi. Now let's just test if it is working or not. For that, open up two terminal windows and in first window, subscribe to one random topic with this command. And on another window, publish one random message on that same topic by using this command. If you receive that same message on the first window, then everything is working perfectly fine. Now you don't need to do anything on the Raspberry Pi board side. Now let's just configure a Node MCU board as an MQTT client. Now, for explaining this local MQTT concept, I will be using these all components which include a Node MCU board, four relays to control four different appliances, a DHT11 sensor to measure temperature and humidity. I bought this Node MCU board from Highlight Go storefront on Amazon. The board worked perfectly fine for my project. I will be attaching the link of this board in the description of this video. Now, the connection of all these components is something like this. I got my own PCB designed for this particular project from glcpcb.com. Ordering PCBs from glcpcb is as simple as uploading photo on your Facebook profile. Just upload the Gerber file on the website and submit your order. You will be getting these amazing PCBs with premium quality at very low price at your doorstep. So try out JLCPCB once to make your projects look neat and well arranged. Now one by one I shouldered all the components on this PCB and after shouldering all these components it looks something like this. Now let's jump on the MQTT client code used for this project. 
So this is the code for Ambiguity client. So for using this code, first of all, you need to download and install this library whose link is mentioned in the description of this video. In this code, I have interfaced four relays which are subscribed to these different topics and the sensor which is subscribed to these two topics. Here, the topics name you can choose on your own but make sure on the other side from which you are going to monitor sensor and control appliances should also be subscribed to exact same topic otherwise it won't work at all. So the only change you need to do here is give your local routers or mobile hotspots credentials. Then enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi board which you can get it from the Pi by opening up the terminal and typing ipconfig. So here is the local IP address of your Raspberry Pi board. Simply copy it and paste it on the Arduino code. That's it. Just upload this code and we are done with a Node MCU board. Now the only thing we are left with is our mobile application. So go to the Play Store and download this app called Amputated Dashboard. Open up that app. Now click on this plus button. Here type a random client ID for example 1. Then here you need to provide the IP address of your Raspberry Pi board which we already entered previously in our Arduino code. Then the port for MGT is 1883 and leave everything and click on this create button. Now go inside this first client ID section. Now as you can see it is showing connecting to broker. Oh it failed to connect as a Raspberry Pi is not at all powered up. So let's just power up the Raspberry Pi board so that our broker will get active. Press this cloud icon. Okay, so as you can see it got successfully connected with our broker. One thing to note here is that the phone, the Raspberry Pi board and the Node MCU board all should be connected with one common router or a hotspot. Otherwise this will not work at all as all this is happening within local area network without internet. So here we can subscribe as well as publish data to different topics. Let's first subscribe to one topic. So click on this plus icon. First give a friendly name for example temperature. Write down the same topic name which we have written in the code for the temperature sensor which was slash feeds slash temperature. Leaving everything as it is, click on the create button. Likewise, make another for humidity but make sure the topic name should match with that in our Arduino code. Okay, let's make topics to publish data. Click on this plus icon and select switch. Give a friendly name, for example, Relay1. Then again, write down the topic name for the Relay1 from our Arduino code which was slash feed slash relay1. Then for on text send 1 and for off text send 0. Then click on create. Likewise make other switches for other relays. Ok so we are done with the application. So everything is properly configured. Now let's just see everything in action. about this project i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you find this tutorial helpful then do give a big thumbs up subscribe my channel if you want to learn more interesting projects regarding iot automation and electronics so wait for my next tutorial and then explore learn share with me techie sms